press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss any update from Tech Primers. Singleton design pattern is one of the most commonly and the heavily used design pattern due to its simplicity. What are the responsibilities of a singleton design pattern? In general, if you know about singleton design pattern already, you probably would have guessed singletons are static in nature. The singleton needs to be thread safe. It will have a private constructor so that we won't have anybody else create the object of that particular class. We will be obviously having a private instance of the class. And finally, there should be no parameters to the constructor. So these are the responsibilities of the singleton design pattern. And let's create one singleton design pattern and see how we can create that, which aligns to all these features. I have already created a project uh, which is called the creational design pattern. I'll upload this to GitHub as well. You can take it from there. I have created a package called singleton and I am adding the singleton design pattern classes here. Meanwhile, uh, whenever I create the uh, builder or the prototype design pattern, I will create a separate package in the same project and you can get the examples from the same project. So let me create a class for the singleton design pattern. So I'll just create it as a singleton example. So this is going to be the uh, main class where we are going to call the singleton class. So I'm going to create a, uh, for simplicity, since it is just a single singleton class, I'm just going to name it as singleton. I'm not going to name it as anything else. I'll just name it as singleton. And this needs to be a singleton class, right? So this is going to be a singleton class. right so that if you are checking this example you should be able to easily understand right so what did we discuss in the readme it should be static it should be thread safe it should have a private constructor so let's start writing everything right uh, we need a private static uh, singleton which should be an instance and what we can do is you can create your instance here we can create that um, before the object is loaded so before the event during the class loading we can create it or if you want to have it as a lazy loading then you can remove this so if you want to do lazy loading then we can remove this and assign null so that whenever a singleton class is accessed you will load that so we need a private constructor so we'll create a private constructor with empty and we need uh, private static get instance which will return the instance of that particular so the instance return type should be singleton so i'll return an instance so how do we return an instance we need to check if it is null right so we, since we have added lazy loading we need to check if it is null and we need to create a new instance if it is null so that's what I'm doing here. Since we want to make it thread safe, what we generally do is we generally add synchronized here, right? If we add synchronized here, the problem here is it will synchronize every call which we make to that get instance. Instead, we want to synchronize only when we are creating this object, right? For that, we can remove the synchronized in this particular place and we can make it synchronized here. So we can make the whole singleton dot class synchronized. That way we can get the synchronized block work only on the particular set of blocks. So we don't have to worry about this because um, this will never be true until or unless we are doing a lazy loading. And also there is uh, one more concept of double checking. We can do the check here as well again. We can do double checking here. This is done to make sure that only this particular block is locked. If there is some other thread which is accessing the instance then it will not get affected so if you notice here this is it is saying that highlight all locations involved this particular issue because it says you should not use synchronized when you are doing double checks until or unless you add volatile to this 
object so if we had volatile to that particular object you can remove synchronized see uh, remove synchronized and if you notice here this has gone now the error which came previously is gone now because we have made this particular object volatile because if we don't make it volatile there are still chances of uh, other threads which can see half initialized instance of the singleton so that is why we are making this particular object as volatile so this way it is completely thread safe and you can use this particular instance and if you notice here IntelliJ had already warned me that I should not use that way but yeah now with the volatile that is all fixed so this is how you can create a instance so did we do whatever we have done it is static in nature yes it is static because you cannot create an instance because the constructor is private we have it as thread safe yep we made it as synchronized while we created the instance it is thread safe we had the private constructor yes uh, it had a private instance of the class yep we have a private instance of the class yes and finally no parameters to the constructor yep we do not have any parameter to the constructor so how do we access this we can access it directly from here we will be using singleton dot get instance i think we made it as private let's do this public because we need to get it accessed outside right so we can introduce a variable let's say called instance and for simplicity just let's print out the instance and i'm going to create one more instance which is called a second instance so that way we will know whether the instance is new or is it the same so let me run this program to see if it is creating a new instance or if it is reusing the existing instance that way we will know whether our singleton class has worked or not the general examples of uh, singleton uh, which are used already in the jvm are uh, runtime dot get runtime so if you notice here this is the singleton example so i'll just mention examples of singleton in general usage right we can use this this is the general example of a singleton which we directly use it uh, in general we use it for garbage collection or uh, running a shell command right so this is one example uh, there is also spring beans which are using singleton by default if you know all the spring beans use a singleton so that is an, another general usage of singleton design pattern uh, the other uh, usage is logger as well logger is singleton but it can be used um, with the factory as well you use factory to get that instance so it is singleton but it uh, it is generally singleton class so that is one more there are other graphic apis which use singleton as well so this is the singleton design pattern hope you guys understood what is singleton design pattern and how you can create it uh, there are some disadvantages of singleton design pattern for example let me put the disadvantages here so it is more oftenly used and because of that people overuse it so since people overuse it it creates more hindrance when you are trying to write unit tests so if you have a unit test and you want to test a particular class and that particular and you try to inject a instance in one particular j unit and somewhere down the uh, down the line if you have another j unit and you are trying to use the same instance so when you write um mocking um code there will be problems when you are running it in a single jvm unit testing is a pain if you have uh, um, more uh, singletons accessed across your classes and also it can slow down your app when you are using too many singleton classes it can slow down your app depending on the usage because you will be having too many synchronized calls and if you know how to use the thread safe feature like how we mentioned here the synchronized block only when we are doing lazy loading then we don't have to worry about it but you should be very carefully using the singleton because it's going to be the same instance which will be used across threads so we should be very careful in designing 
the singleton so you should not overburden the singleton class the other problem is uh, people sometimes use it uh, as a factory with an argument so people uh, use a singleton with an argument so what they do is they pass the get instance with an argument and then based on that we create an instance so that is not a singleton pattern which is basically a factory pattern so formally uh, most probably it is uh, it is sometimes confused with uh, factory design pattern the other uh, one which people generally don't get is there is a api called calendar dot get instance so if you notice here this is a get instance however this is not singleton because every time you do a get instance this is going to return new objects for us this is generally a factory design pattern however people confuse it as a singleton design pattern if i just show you the system out let me run this and if you notice that every time you do a calendar or get instance it's going to return a new instance of the calendar however the just the name just uh, resembles the get time if you notice here the calendar is different completely if you see the time is completely different right because it calculates by nanoseconds so it's completely different so you won't be able to compare these two instances so this is the most common misconception which people have calendar dot get instance is a singleton but it is not a singleton it is a factory so every time you do a calendar dot get instance it creates a new instance it is also creation however it doesn't align with the singleton design pattern these are the different uh, features disadvantages and the usages of singleton design pattern hope you guys understood what is singleton design pattern and you will be able to crack an interview based on the in depth understanding of what is singleton meet again in the next video thank you very much